everyone how are you doing my name is aditi and i'm back with a very important topic today we are going to talk about some of the most popular international scholarships uh, especially if you're planning to study your masters in design so we are going to talk about five of those scholarships in detail so please make sure to watch this video till the end all right let's not waste any more time and let's get to work and let's start with the first scholarship on our list and that is the inlax shiv desani foundation scholarship this is for everybody who's planning to study their masters in fine arts performing arts like uh, acting dancing or architecture design in us europe or the uk if you win the scholarship you can be rewarded up to 100000 us dollars which will cover your tuition fee your living expense your travel expense and also your health allowances so who all can apply for this and what's the eligibility criteria like i told you this is for masters level so the first thing you need is a bachelor's degree and you need to pass out with at least 60% in your final exams along with that you cannot be more than 30 years of age at the time of your application and you also need a valid passport for your identity verification also we need two letters of recommendation out of which one has to be academic and we also need an unconditional offer letter from the university that we are targeting so the applications for the inlax foundation generally open by feb march and you get your final results by may june uh, the selection procedure is divided into three steps the first is the online procedure online form filling where you just go to their official website and you create your profile as strong as possible as promising as possible and if your profile looks good then you might make it to the second round where uh, you will have to submit your mark sheets this is the uh, first round of interview or the prelim interview round and if you're still done well then you might make it to the final interview round where a couple of judges will have a one on one discussion with you so you also need a strong portfolio along with all the eligibility criteria because we need to demonstrate our ability to think like a designer or think like an artist i'll add the link to inlax in my description box please do cross check all the details that i've shared with you and if it fits your profile then definitely you must give it a try The next opportunity we are going to talk about is the Fulbright Nehru Fellowship and it's a very bright opportunity for people across various different professions much for the sake of this video we are going to focus just on the creative options that we have for us uh, so we have two options there is art management and there is regional planning so when we talk about art management it's about museum studies heritage conservation art institutions art administration and regional planning is about urban planning rural planning uh, waste management water management uh, community management transportation management, management if any of these subjects interest you and you have made up your mind that this is what you want to study for your masters in the US then this is a great opportunity for you if you win this scholarship or you win this fellowship uh, you will not just be funded for your tuition fee but also for your living cost your travel expense your health allowances and also your visa expenses which is a great thing uh, who all can apply for this and what's the eligibility criteria well First of all you need a bachelor's level degree because you're applying for your masters and you need to score at least 55% in your final exams. But if you have done a 3 year bachelor degree course then you also need to complete a post grad diploma or a masters level degree so that you will be regarded as equivalent to the bachelor's level program and only then you can apply for the scholarship opportunity. Along with this you need a compulsory 3 year work experience. and all of this work experience or the extracurricular activities that you have done in your college life needs to demonstrate your ability to think like a leader it needs to show your proactive personality and why are we emphasizing so much on the leadership skills is because if you win the scholarship and you fly to the states you complete your studies after that you will have to commit to the fact that you will come back to your home country and you will do something for the society you will help the society in some way Obviously all of this will be possible only if you can think like a leader if you have that leadership ability in you. If you're interested for the scholarship opportunity then the applications open by Feb March 
and by May, June, you get your final results. Selection procedure is divided into two steps. The first is your online process where you go to their official website, add in all your details and uh, make your profile as promising as possible. And if you've done well there, if your profile looks really good, then you will make it to the final interview round where a couple of judges will try and understand your personality. Uh, what are your goals? Why you want to study design and why you want to go to the States and how you can do something for the society. And if you have managed to impress them with your confidence, confidence and your leadership ability, then who knows, you might win this opportunity. So I'll add the link to Nehru Fellowship in my description box. Please do check out all the details, cross check all the details. And if it matches your profile, it's definitely worth a try. Number three is the JN Tata Endowment for the Higher Education of Indians. What a grand name. <laughs> so this is a loan scholarship opportunity. And what that means is whatever amount you have won today, you will have to repay all of that in installments once you begin to earn. So this rewarding amount can range from 1 lakh rupees to 10 lakh rupees depending on your academic excellence. And if you're interested to apply for this loan scholarship, well then firstly, you need to have a bachelor's level degree with uh, at least 60% marks in your final exams. And along with that, you need to have a strong history of extracurricular activities that you have participated in your school life, college life, or any volunteering, social volunteering that you have taken up. And also you cannot be more than 45 years of age at the time of your application. The applications open by February and by June, July, you get your final results. The first step is you need to uh, apply online, fill in all your details through the online form. And if your profile looks promising, you'll be asked to complete an online test, which will test for all your uh, logics, your thinking ability. And if you've done well, you've scored well, you'll make it to the final interview round where a panel of judges will try and understand your personality. They will test you for your, uh, for your technical skills. And if you've managed to impress them, then who knows, you can actually win this opportunity. And now let's say you won this loan scholarship and you fly to the States to complete your studies. And out of the two years, uh, one year is done and in this one year you have performed absolutely amazingly you have given the best results then the trustees of this scholarship can reward you ranging from 50,000 rupees to 7,50,000 rupees depending on your level of academic excellence and you don't have to repay any of this amount so that's an additional benefit also you don't need an offer letter at the time of your application which means you can apply for this well in advance uh, I'll add the link for J and Tata in my description box please do cross check all the details and if it fits well with your profile then you must give it a try Number four is the DAS scholarship and this is for everybody who wants to study in Germany in the field of fine arts, uh, visual communication or design for their masters. And if you win the scholarship, you will be rewarded with an amount of 861 euros every month, which will cover your travel expense, your living cost, your rent, accommodation and also your health allowances. What's more is if you're planning to travel with any one of your family members or your partner, that scholarship will fund for that as well, which is a very rare thing for a scholarship to do. However, one thing we have to keep in mind is that this scholarship does not cover your tuition fee. Most German universities don't charge any tuition fee, but there are quite a few exceptional cases. So this is one thing that we need to cross check before we fill in our application forms. Now talking about the eligibility criteria, that's very similar to what we have spoken before. Uh, you need a bachelor's level degree and this has to be from a reputed Indian Institute uh, which is not more than six years old at the time of your application and also you need a strong CV with a good amount of work experience preferably and a strong portfolio because since you're applying for design so we do need to show our aptitude to study masters in design along with that you need a letter of motivation and last but not the least you also need to pass the German proficiency language test especially if you are planning to study at one of those universities which teaches its course in Germany the application for the dance scholarship generally begin by end of November by December and it goes up till March and the final results are out by June July the procedure to be selected is divided into two steps. The first is your online where you uh, submit all your work, your CV and your portfolio. All of that is uploaded on the portal and if you have done pretty well, your profile looks very promising. You will be called to attend the one-on-one -on -one interview round. Uh, there are several DAD offices across the country, so you'll be called to the nearest office. 
uh, there you will have a couple of judges who will ask you pretty much the very similar questions which all scholarship interviews ask why you are planning to study in Germany, how will this help you, why you want to travel abroad, why this course, uh, why this university. I'll add the link to DAD in my description box. Uh, please do cross check all the details that I've shared with you and give it a try if it fits your profile. Number five is the Achievement Scholarship and this is for everybody who wants to study their masters in any one of UK's most prestigious universities. All that you have to do is you have to go on their official website and you need to type in the name of the course that you're interested in, which could be any stream of design. And you need to check if that course is eligible for achieving scholarship. And if the answer is yes, you can definitely give the scholarship a try. And if you win this opportunity, you don't have to possibly worry about anything because it's going to cover everything uh, from your tuition fee to your living cost, your travel cost, your health allowances pretty much in short everything like I just told you. Talking about the eligibility criteria, uh, of course you need a bachelor's level degree. Along with this you also need an unconditional offer letter from the university that you're targeting and uh, the most important part is that you need two years of compulsory work experience. This work could be paid, non-paid, that doesn't matter but this work has to demonstrate your ability to think like a leader. Uh, all of the extracurricular activities that you've ever participated in, in your college life or your school life or any social volunteering that you have taken up, all of this needs to show that proactive personality you have. And uh, why is there so much emphasis on your leadership? Is because once you win the scholarship, you will have to commit that you will fly back to India and you will do something for the society. You will bring, you will help or you will contribute to some social change. And that's the reason they are looking for this leadership ability in you. The applications for the scholarship uh, open by August and it ends by November, which means it's still open. If you're planning to study next year, then you can't waste any more time you need to get to work and by June July of next year you will get to know your uh, final results the procedure to apply is very similar to what we've uh, spoken before there is this online form that you need to fill in which will ask you for your academic history your CV and you need to also type in a few answers to the questions that they will ask you and these questions could be about leadership about uh, your future goals why you want to study this course why this university what what do you think about social networking, uh, how are your social skills and if your profile seems very strong and promising it said that only about 10% of the profiles make it to the interview round and if you're one of them then you have to face a panel of judges where they will ask you questions just like every other scholarship interview why this course, why this country, why this uh, university and how this will help you with your long-term goals. So if you have the right confidence and conviction you might actually win this prestigious scholarship opportunity. I'll add the link to this in my description box. Please do check it out. It's definitely worth a try. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope this was helpful in some small, tiny little way. If the answer is yes, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more content for you. And if you have any more video suggestions, requests, feedback, then you can write in the comment section and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Till then, have a fantastic day ahead. Take care of yourselves, stay smiling, stay happy and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.